for point and issue questions, they jump out at you because there's two speakers. And oftentimes when there's two speakers, it's going to be point at issue, although not necessarily. There are plenty of, of two speaker stimuli where they're asking something else altogether. They could be asking, what's the method of reasoning of one person's argument out of the two? Or what is a flaw in one of those two arguments? Or what is a way to strengthen or weaken one of those two arguments? There's a variety of things they can ask about with the exact same stimulus, which is why I like thinking about a stimulus-focused approach, even if on test day, from a tactical perspective, I'm still reading the question stem first. So tonight, as we go through a handful of pointed issue questions, I want you to think about later, how could I have made a totally different question out of that exact same stimulus? How could I have strengthened one of those two arguments or weakened one of them? Or maybe there's an underlying necessary assumption in one of them. Or maybe I could simply ask what must be true on the basis of one of those if I took that argument as given. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.